everybody, and welcome to the Media Shout 7 training. So to begin, um, you'll need to log into the Slides account on the laptop, which someone will provide you. And then when everything comes up, you just click on the Media Show 7 icon. Once that comes up, you'll have some options, and usually the Sunday that you're going to be uh, clicking on is right here. But if it doesn't come up, uh, then you just open script, and then go to scripts, and then you'll see the Sunday that you are doing slides for. So you click on that and click open. And here you are. So on the left is everything, is a, a layout of the whole Sunday morning. So we see we have uh, a rotating announcement slides that you'll put up at the start. And then you can scroll down and there's your welcome, the announcements that you go through. And so there's the main one and then the three different announcements. And then there's the first song and the second song. And you can see on the side here, verse one, chorus one, uh, pre-chorus one, Chorus 1, verse 2, the third song, and then we're going to have a video and then a blank slide uh, for, the, for the sermon. Now, when this is the, uh, the editor slides, so what you won't really have to change anything because this should all be done for you. So up here, you see presenter view. You're going to want to click that on. And so this is all you need to do when, um, when you're actually do, when you're actually leading, uh, running the slides for a Sunday morning. So if you double click on the first one, then you'll see on the right here this is your main display. So this will show what is up on the, on the the projector screen. And this stage display here, this is what is being projected to the small TVs at the front of the stage, and also the TV on the back of the room. And right now I just have that um, mirroring the same thing as the main display, but that can also be changed to showing um, different lyrics or, or whatever you want, as long as the person who makes the slides changes that. So these are on rotating slides, so once I click the first one it'll go through, but then once church starts, then we can double click on that, and that'll begin the service. And so there's different ways you can change slides, you can push the space bar, and that will switch the slides. You can also press the, the oh, maybe you can't press the right arrow key. Okay, so either you can double click on the slides or you can press uh, space and it will change the next slide. So an important um, thing to note when you are changing the slides for uh, during the worship time, you're gonna wanna change the slides right when the lyric is finished showing. So there, on this one, it's there's no one like you, none like you, and as soon as they say you, you're going to want to change the slides, uh, as opposed to changing the slide right as people start singing. So in this one, I've seen some people who are leading slides change it, and as, as soon as the, the worship leader starts singing, Into the Darkness You Shine, um, they change it right then, but that doesn't give the congregation uh, enough time to know what lyric uh, is coming up next. And so they, they miss the first few lines of the, of, of the verse or the chorus because it isn't changed in time. So you can see that uh, the three songs are lined up here. And so you'll just, as they come up, you'll just press space. And you can see that they're changing. And then the next two songs. Now, I have a video in this one. And you can insert the video right into Media Show 7. And I would recommend doing this as opposed to bringing it up on a different screen and having to put it up. I was watching TV the other day. Space again, and it will end. Great, and so that's really all there is to it, um, leading worship, or leading the slides. Um, now here's some uh, technical aspects that you want to make sure that these settings are correct or else it, it may not uh, work. So one of them is making sure that this main resolution 
and stage resolution that those are uh, this number 1024 by 768. Um, there's multiple resolutions, but for the slide screen, this is what you want to keep it on. Now, another one is if you go to settings, you can go to display settings here. You're going to want to make sure that this is on main display. The main display is display 2, and the stage display is, the sta is display 5. If they are on any other um, any, any other displays or if they're blank, then that might be a reason why uh, the slides are not coming up on, your, on the uh, projector. One, one other last technical aspect, sometimes the whole screen will be black um, and you just have to press F2 on the keyboard and that will get rid of, that will make that come back. So I don't know why this happens, but it's happened a couple times to me. And so that is the solution for that. All right, this concludes Media Show 7 training. I, we at Elgin appreciate your willingness to serve on the slides team. And we thank you.